So let's do just a quick review. We have here a form and the Stripe is going to charge, we want Stripe to charge the credit card once in the beginning. So we have here the default template. We're going to be working in PHP. This, is, this was provided by um, Stripe and it has, we're loading the libraries and then we're loading the JavaScript that is going to do a very simple task. It's basically going to make sure that the credit card is valid and that it can charge it. And then if it can charge it and there are no errors, it's going to return the Stripe token, which basically represents the credit card, but for a single time usage. So it's basically same as the credit card number, but that can be used only once for charging the customer only once. So here's the basically when we execute the code, we're going to echo out the token, which is not going to be charged just yet. So we're going to submit it and here is the token. So that token can be charged once. It was not charged yet. And if we want to charge it, we basically use the code here. Once again, the code is provided by Stripe. <clears throat> so we're going to put the amount we want 750 currency is Canadian dollars and we're going to be charging the credit card we're charging the token basically if we save the file save it on the server go back to the page and then we perform the charge we're going to see that the card was indeed charged. So the last charge was here was 250. And now the charge is going to be 750. So if we go back to the code, now what we want to do is we don't want to use it only once we want to keep on charging the client whenever we want. So the way to do it is uh, very simple, we just need to create a customer. And the way that it's done is with the following code. So before we use the token to charge the credit card, but now we're going to use the credit card token to create a client. And uh, the way that the client is created is we're going to create basically a new object of the, uh, of the class uh, customer. And uh, that's basically it. We just created a customer and then we can charge them as many times as we want. So when we're doing the actual charge, we're going to be using the customer ID because it's going to basically check in the system that, okay, this is the customer ID and uh, this is the customer ID. Uh, uh, the, his credit card is this, let's charge it. So let's go back and look at the script. See how it executes. We submit the payment and it says, okay, here's the customer ID. So the beautiful part is that it's this specific customer ID that can be charged again and again and again and again as many times as you want. You can charge that customer ID tomorrow, you can charge it three months later, you can do it uh, on a recurring basis, basically as long as the credit card that's associated with this customer ID is valid. So if we look at the code here, all we did is we just returned the uh, is we just returned the customer ID. We did not actually do any any charges on the card. So if we want to charge the card, and let's just make sure that nothing got charged. Last charge was 750, and the last charge is still 750. So if we want to charge the customer, we basically in the code, we use the code which is almost identical to the initial charge. But as you can see, when we were doing the uh, the initial charge, we had the source token. So we were charging the credit card. And as Stripe explains it, they say, create the charge on Stripe server. This will charge the user's card. Very important. If we go here, we see that it's almost the same code. The only thing that changes here is we put the customer ID, customer ID. We don't specify the token. We're not charging the credit card, but we're charging the customer whose credit card is stored in the system basically. So uh, we can see here the Stripe's way of explaining it is charge the customer instead of the card. And as you saw before, we displayed the customer ID and we just specify the customer ID and this little piece of code uh, can be used in the future. The only thing you need to do is pass it the customer ID and then it's going to charge the customer $2.50.
let's reload the page here and make sure that it works. So we have here CC number, we have the CVV number, we have the card, and then the this customer was now charged $2.50 and we can make sure of it here. Boom, it's done. So the only thing essentially that you need to save is this part right here. So if you put, for example, uh, I don't know, you can put uh, new customer equals customer ID. That customer ID that can be charged multiple times. The only way, uh, the only thing to do here is just basically pass it in this uh, in this array here. Is by um, by storing it in the uh, in a variable. You can store it in a variable, or or you can just basically insert it into your uh, MySQL database, and then you can pull it from the database. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can basically serialize and then unserialize the uh, customer object. So what that means is that if you actually print out this object, um, this new object of the class customer, you're going to see it has a whole bunch of information in it. So if you want to save all of that information, you can store it using the serialize and uh, unserialize um, functions in PHP. So hopefully this was uh, somewhat helpful. If it was, please leave a comment, a share, and uh, put a like on the video. Thank you so much.